Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to cover the topic of markers in Cubase. Um, first of all you need to decide where you are going to be putting your markers. Markers are basically used for creating easy to find sections as uh, like your intro, chorus, verse, whatever it might be, solo and um, I'm going to show you different ways of inserting them. So first of all we need to create a marker track T marker name it and as you can see I've now got my marker track available for me to use so I'm just going to zoom in a minute. I know roughly where my um, parts are on this song. So at the beginning here, if I bring my cursor, uh, cursor back to the beginning, I can add a marker by pressing this little button on the side. There. I know I can add another one there another one there and another one there for now so once you've put in your markers you can quickly uh, jump to each one whilst the marker track is selected by pressing B and N on your keyboard. This allows you to quickly navigate to the individual ones. You might want to um, name your markers. You can do this by clicking the one you want to name and coming up to the top left here and then typing it in. So I'm going to name all of these now. So once you've named them, you can give yourself a bit more visibility of where they are. And as I said, you can just literally cycle and then play. And you're into your song or the section you want to be in. You can also add some color. To make them stand out a little bit more. So there is a different they are sing, single markers there's also um, a thing called cycle markers so what you need to do is draw out the section you would like to cycle or create markers to you do that by um, just getting uh, the pencil to come up and drawing the section you want so I've got my intro there and then instead of pressing that button we just press add a cycle marker and then I'm going to go to there add a cycle marker there and I know this one goes on a bit more so there add a cycle marker I've now added um, cycle markers uh, to this and the main difference here is that when you double click on it it will cycle uh, the whole area that you've uh, created and BNN doesn't um, actually select it you have to click on it like that and you can add color again like so so um, once you have done that you might want to work out how to delete some of these uh, the quickest way I found is just using the eraser tool and you can just delete uh, your markers so how to adjust a marker you basically just click on it and you can 
move it any which way you want like that and there's one more function I'd like to show you with markers so if you um, press control M I'm not sure what it is on Mac but that's what it is on Windows press control M and you've got some functions here so you can see because I deleted one of these I've only I've got the sequence of one three four so to make these more uh, sequential you can actually press the function and you can reassign the position of the marker IDs on both the singular and the cycle so this will do the singulars and this will do the cycles and there's one more function press control M again to bring it up choose um, this will basically move uh, the marker to the cursor point choose the marker you want to do so we'll say this number two and then you say function move markers to cursor and there you go thank you very much for watching this video um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again for the next one. Cheers.